Today's post op day six. My mom finally helped me shower my hair. But I've been like kind of wiping myself down and whatnot. But I can't. You can't have it here. I can't really take showers right now. Uh -huh. Mom, you can put this in the microwave for now. Update on me going to the restroom. Oh, I no. I went to the to get here? got like ten thirty. Oh. Um, stop putting out everything in the car. Okay. Do you want you can heat up the oh no never mind. I finally used the restroom but it's not enough. I feel like I still need to use more. We're taking my stool softeners, but at this point, I think I need to lax it or something. I am standing up more, like straight, but um, from my understanding, is that it's gonna take some time. I feel very leg out of it right now. I woke up my mom. I don't know how many times last night, I did it three times. But I woke up like around 12 and I was crying. But now I know why. Am I bleeding? No. Um, I have a lot of trapped liquid in the back of my back. So today I'm gonna ask her if she can put in um, a little foam in the back. Just because I feel the trap liquid in my lower back. I go tomorrow to see the doctors. I don't know if they'll keep the germs out just because I am still leaking out a lot. I'm supposed to leak like less than 50. Your dad. Hey, Bobby. Mm hmm. Oh, he is. So, I think I might have these drains in for like another four days or so. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, we are post day up six still. Mm. I finally went to the bathroom, you guys, but it has been like the worst. And I'm sorry for the lighting, guys, because I'm hunched over right here on the counter. It has been the worst experience of my whole entire life. Like, not going the, to the restroom number two is just a side effect of the anesthesia. Um, I don't want to say that I need a blood transfusion, but I feel like real weak right now. I'm just like tired, like exhausted. But I think it's probably because I haven't really ate either. I just ate this morning a toast bread. Um, some egg and some avocado, that was it. And then of course I drink my arnica tea. They say arnica is really good for bruising and helping you like muscle. It's kind of like a muscle relaxer, I guess you could say, but not really. It just helps you like relax. Um, yeah, I was taking stool softeners. And what else? Prunes and prune juice. 
I just got it, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. So yeah, so day six, I feel like I can move a little bit more, but I look crazy. Um, I finally went to the bathroom now. So tomorrow I have my checkup, so we'll see how that happens or how that goes because I am draining a lot from drain number three, which is the one in the back, but drain two wasn't really draining that much because it was clogged. So I unclogged both of them, one and, or two and three. So I'm hoping that I release some type of fluid. And I did get like a little belly pouch just because right after surgery, they didn't put me my faja. They said because I had bruising, but I don't know. So um, two days later is when I started to realize that I started to have like a little pouch and it's just swelling. So all the liquid is just trapped there because I had no compression. So now here I am, my, some lady from the nurse surgery center, she called or texted me today or t called me first and then she told me to text her on WhatsApp, like the pictures of what I was going through and all that. And she said that I need to put on an ab board. So I have my foams in right now, all three, two on the side, one in my back. And then I have my ab board in the front for more compression. The faja that I am wearing is a size medium in certain areas. Let me show you guys. I can go, I can go smaller and the other ones I really can't. But you see how this there's three three stages right here it's two and this is the first one and then these are right at the last one so this is what post-op day six looks like i still look like a hunchback of Notre Dame. my butt's still hard i need to flip out i look like a grandma right now this is how straight i stand just got here to my follow-up appointment and there's my friend Gabby over here in the corner um uh, my butt or not my butt but my back is hurting me so bad no, not on there. On there, you haven't. No, no. Only in the front. So we came to our first appointment. So I'm hoping that they take these bad boys out. Porque si no, me voy a morir aquí. But yeah, so let me show you guys what it looks like. They're making me take everything off, including my faja. Great. And I am nervous. Ooh. So now I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in. How are you guys getting getting undressed is the worst I literally didn't take everything off I left the lower portion off because I won't be able to put it back on by myself and I don't know if they help you guys here all right, y'all, I made it out of my post-op appointment. My friend Gabby, she got her last drain out. I still have two more. I come back on the 7th of November. No? Asada and just... Okay, Asada's fine, yeah. Um, and yeah, they said my cuts are good. More compression on the belly. And 
let me tell you, when he took that drain out, it was horrible. It felt like vibrating. It just felt like a weird sensation in my belly, but believe it or not, it feels good to have that one out, so. Cheers, so now we can to eat some tacos. Tacos and poblano. Hi guys, damn, I feel like every day I look like crazier and crazier. But hi guys, welcome to post op day eight. Um, I, I feel like I'm a little better when I'm walking too much, like my back starts to hurt a lot. But let me show you guys. I'm actually gonna take a shower right now in a little bit. I'm waiting for mom to get here because I took a nap and let me see. Let me make sure my cooch is not like out or whatever. But I took a nap and then I woke up with like a little bit of drainage here. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. This is how straight I'm standing. I'm covering myself for you because it's like my my girl is just hanging out there, you know? This Faja is not the business. So if you're able to get one with the zipper, it's bomb. Also keep in mind, chicken butt is a thing. Make sure that your Faja right here, your butt is not hanging out. Cause then if, if so, you are gonna get chicken butt girl. And that's not cute, so search that up. But, this is so far, post up to eat. This is how my booty looking. Hella big, but it still has to fluff up. It still has to drop, like, girl, we, we, we get in there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do a little walk. Nothing too crazy though. Um, they did say that when you are, when you have a tummy tuck, don't hunch over. Try to like lift yourself up. Try to walk straight, you know? But this is so far, we'll stop day eight. I still have my compression socks, which you can barely see. Uh, they said I have to wear these for at least a month. So I don't get no blood clots and all that good stuff. I did just let um, get my last shot, so thank God because those shots are horrible, you guys. So horrible. Um, I do have my two little drains right here. I got one in the back, one in the front, which is this one that's leaking. I don't know why it's leaking, but yeah. But yeah, you guys, so that's pretty much post op day eight. Um, I still have a lot of lower back pain, like it hurts. Um, when I'm doing a little too much, but I mean, other than that, for the most part, I feel like I'm getting better and better as the day goes by. Um, I still want to, like, I still don't feel hundred percent like a one, but, uh, my chin, I'm still kind of a little swollen there. Tomorrow I go for my, um, massage and I'm so excited because I've been draining so much from my back um, drain like crazy. Like it's never drained that much. So I'm, I'm happy about that. But yeah, you guys think. Hi guys, good morning. It is day eight, no day nine. Um, I feel so much better. I took actually my first shower yesterday. Yes, first shower and it was the worst, you guys. I felt like I was gonna pass out. Um, I just, because when you get out of your, oh my God, look at this, it's all swelled. But when, you're, when you normally get out of your faja, you don't feel like that compressed anymore. So your stomach and your body just feels super weird. So I actually um, was just trying to hurry up and get out of the shower. 
I'm having like difficulties of how like to to sleep so my butt doesn't touch. I don't know, you guys. I'm just going through like some hard time right now. And I'm sitting like this with my baby out pillow and then like the rolled up one in the back. But I feel like even then, this couch does me no justice. So yeah. Update, my legs are not that swelled up anymore. Hi guys, today's day 10 and I feel so good. Like I didn't really record much yesterday because um, I went out of town because it was Halloween. So I went to like my cousin, my cousin's house, my aunt's house. So we were just hanging out there. Um, for the most part, it was doing good. It's just still standing up and walking around. I can't do much because I get super tired. But um, last night I got some well, well, well rest. Like I'm so happy I rested so good. Like I was so tired last night that I knocked out. And for the past like week and a half, I've been waking up like in the middle of the night like one or two times just of like being uncomfortable but i feel like we're getting better and better you guys every single day um i mean if you are planning to get this procedure just know that you will be down for a good week most week and a half before you start feeling better but that week and a half is like hell you guys like i just never ever would have imagined the pain that had been like that i'd be like no thanks but overall you guys i feel amazing i feel blessed i feel super happy to be alive and recovering and my body is healing beautiful so um yeah you guys i don't really have much for today today i actually did change my faha i cleaned myself but like literally by myself i cleaned my my incisions like um maybe the next day that i do clean myself um i'll show you guys it's just it's hard because i don't want to get you know, um, sh not shadow banned, but I don't want to get, like, thrown out there because, or YouTube, like, red flag my video because I'm, like, showing nudity, but it's not even, like, nudity. All right here, baby. Right here. Um, I am still sleeping in my, um, gravity chair, which I brought it upstairs last night just so that I can sleep next to my husband. Because my mom left out of town, so I didn't have nobody to pick me up on the couch. I mean, not that it's it's easier to get on off the couch, but I feel like sitting on the couch, um, really, like, I'm sitting mostly, like, on my butt. And I'm, I'm trying to avoid all that, like, in all cases, you know? Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, there's my current situation. I am stuck in my chair. I cannot get up because I did get a tummy tuck, so obviously I can't use my lower muscle. So shout out to my lover right here because if it wasn't for her, I don't think I'd be able to get up and I've been up for a whole hour. Good morning, you guys. Today's post-op day 11. Still walking like a little weirdo. Um, this morning I did wake up with like right here hurting. I mean, right here just hurting me. I don't know if it's because of this too, but yesterday it was um, leaking through my uh, faha. But um, let me show you guys pretty much what my booty's looking like. Um, I am still a lot of like swollen. My butt hasn't fluffed yet. Um, I am wearing my ab board and my phone. Um, just for more compression. Um, I am barely at the second. Hold on, guys. Barely at the second. Um, second and first. No, the second little line. Um, I can't wait to take these strings off, you guys. They're such a pain in the butt to carry, to watch out for. And I feel like that's what's been hurting me the most. On my right side and then some, like, where my butt's at. Because it's, like, literally right above your butt crack. Um, for the most part, I mean, we're hanging in there. I still cannot get up from my gravity chair, so this is where I norm or I have been sleeping for the past uh, couple of days. I try to sleep on my bed, but that didn't work for me. My bed's too high, and getting off and on it is really hard. 
But this morning, since my mom's not here, um, I cut my chair, but I didn't cut it all the way because I was hearing that a lot of girls regret cutting it because as you sit on it, your hole becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and it just doesn't support you anymore. So if you are planning to cut your chair, don't cut it. Uh, there's a way how to sleep there um, in a separate, any chair that reclines. It doesn't have to just be a gravity chair. Any chair that reclines because I catch myself for the most part even grabbing one of these chairs and propping my feet up because yesterday, I'm going to set you guys down. I'm <sighs> getting tired. Uh, yesterday, I felt like my legs were just so swollen. Um, I had went to the store to, or the grocery store with my husband so I could get some stuff for the house because my mom, again, wasn't here. And uh, you guys, I was so tired. Like, I couldn't walk anymore. My butt felt like it was cramping up. Like, it got really hard. I was like, no wonder they said not to be taking long walks. Um, what else? Um... So by the end of the night, like I was trying to make my husband's lunch and I was like, oh my God, I just want to go to sleep already. I did. I went, um, I was trying to help him like shower my son or get him out. And finally, like, I was like, you know what? I need to lay down because my legs were like so swollen to the point where I felt my knee swollen. So when I was bending my leg, I felt like my knee just like really big. But, yeah, we're day 11, post-op, and I am starting to stand up a little more straight. In the morning, I think I feel more hunched. Uh, but throughout the day, like, I started to stretch myself and whatnot. But let me show you guys in the mirror how straight I am standing now. So this is how straight I'm standing up. I'm still a little hunched over. Just give me some time, though. But these foams make me look so freaking huge. But in reality, you guys, I'm not that really big. Like, oh, My waist is, like, super small. You know, it looks okay, but it looks a lot smaller when I take off my foams and my faja. But these are what my little dinglings hanging look like. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another day of a vlog um post op day 12 and for some reason i woke up with not woke up but um since yesterday my right tube since i stopped both of these drains in the one on this side and then this one is the one in the back um i um what was i going to say It feels so swollen right there. Um, my right side drain, for some reason, keeps draining. Like, where the incision's at. Out there, like, maybe. That's the trick, so it doesn't get on your teeth. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know, I keep draining from my right tube, like, outside of it. And then I'm just kind of over these drains. I want them to just take them out already because honestly, they're a pain in the butt to take out. And on top of that, they're just in the way. Like, I can't wear something cute because I got these things hang coming out of me. And people are probably looking at me like, is she okay? Like, she has a nice body. And is she peeing out of those? Like, oh my God. She's not so cute after all. I don't know, which is probably weird, but um, I'm here to get my last massage and then I'm gonna pry book her hopefully by the end of the month. Um, just because it's very important to get these massages because I feel like you, you're you able to move like better after like right now. I mean, I'm able to move, but probably not as good as when I get out. You know, so I'm excited to get this massage because it's, it's been a week since I've seen her. So, um, I think I might probably see her, like, 
every week now because I was seeing her like every almost every day for the first week. And then now I think I'm just going to see her like every week just so that way I can kind of like keep getting these massages because I'm telling you guys, these massages feel so good after you're out. Like it's just it's so bomb. So bomb girl. But um I would take you guys in there, but I don't think she wants me to record, you know, just for the sake of her privacy, which is understandable, you know, but, um, yeah, you guys, um, it's Tuesday and I'm sleeping better. <gasps> oh. I'm starting to be able to like laugh a little bit more. I still can't cough nor sneeze and yawning. I just found out that I'm able to yawn, so it's pretty cool. But um, right now my right side is like a little burning. But um, what was I gonna say? I don't think I have anything else to say, but I took my compression socks off yesterday because I went to like a little dinner and let me tell you my five feet swelled up so don't take your compression socks off because girl or if you're going to take them off take them off for the time that you're going to be somewhere and then slip those babies back on because let me tell you my feet were so swollen like it was crazy like I just did not like the fact that my ankles felt fat like but anyways, you guys, that's what I have for post-op day 12. We're getting closer and closer, you guys, for us to be better. I am now driving, so I'm sitting on my baby up a little. I have this little cushion right here, the white one, because um, because um, I feel like the pillow was giving me a little indent where I was sitting at. So I was like, you know what? We're going to fix that. I'm going to have a pillow like right here. So I like, I rolled it up like in a little circle. And then I put like two rubber bands on each side. That way when I'm driving, it supports my back. Because your lower back definitely hurts. But I think it's time for me to walk in there. So I'm going to give her a text. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. We are post-op day 14 today marks two weeks and <clears throat> I still have these two damn drains on um I started to notice that I am able to bend down just a little bit just not too too much um what else <clears throat> I am sleeping now upstairs <clears throat> sorry guys because I still can't fully cough or clear my throat <clears throat> I gotta do a little weird something, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with right now. Don't mind my bed right now. I'm washing my sheets, so. But <clears throat> I do have my phone, my phone's in, so that's why I kind of do look a little wider. Like you guys, you think you think this is not wide? I am a lot smaller on here, but because I do have my phones in right now, it looks a little weird. But um, for the most part, I have my foams in here and in my back. And then in the front, I have my ab board. And I also have a uh, like a towel going from here to here to give me more compression here. Because I did that on here in this area. I have a lot of swelling. Um, so I changed up my faja. Um, I'm, I'm considered into stage two faja, but this was when I bought it a stage one. Um, it is an extra large, <clears throat> but in the other ones, I am literally now a size small. So every faja is different, you guys. Um, I like this one in particular because it does not really like, you know, uh, press too much on the butt <clears throat> versus the Merino one. That one does have compression everywhere um in certain areas they like less compression but that's pretty much what 14 days post-op looks like you guys 
Again, I am still super swollen. I love the way my hips are looking right now and just everything. My butt is a little, a little, a little big right now, but it is gonna stay big because that's what I wanted. Um, and it still needs to fluff. So right now it's like still hard. But yeah, you guys. Guys, we are 14, 15, 16 days post op, and I finally got my drains out. And you guys, you do not know how bad I feel. Like, I, not bad, how bad I wanted them out. I feel normal. Like, I feel normal, which is freaking weird. But yes, I finally got them out. Um, they did give me some drain little thingy so I can start draining some more just because I am still swollen on my stomach. But they did put like um, some anesthesia in my stomach and then he poked like a big old thick needle. Like I was gonna record for you guys but I was just too caught up in the moment. It was a thick old needle and he poked me on my right and on my left and then he poked me again on my right because my right wasn't really coming out anything. But he was able to get like a syringe and like a half of just liquid trapped in my stomach. So yeah, you guys. And then you took my stitches out of my belly. So it's all good and gravy from here, y'all.